Hey there, this is the Techno Pop 8, a pocket friendly device from Techno. And back in like 2019, 2020, you could buy this phone for like 50,000 euro. But right now, as a result of inflation, the base model with 3 gigs RAM and 64 gigs of storage space costs 80,000 euro. If you want to get the variant with 128 gigs and 4 gigs RAM, you are going to spend about 100,000 euro. The most important question is should you spend as much money? to buy the phone or just forget about it and go for another one let me answer that question in this video starting with the unboxing experience if you are familiar with the pop 7 pro that was released earlier then the design of the box is not far when compared to the box of the techno pop 8 pro inside the box you are going to find the phone first which we will come back to in a bit you will get an mtn voucher for one gig data which can be redeemed you are going to get a 10 watt charger which we will talk more about before the end of the video there is an airpiece sim ejector tool a silicon tip PU case that fits the phone perfectly. That's about what you get inside the box of the Techno Pop 8. The Techno Pop 8 has a plastic finish at the back and the frames are also made of plastic. There is a side mounted fingerprint scanner on the right side just below the volume keys. The phone has two speakers, there is one at the top and a second one at the bottom and in terms of sound quality, it's pretty ok but it lacks bass. It charges through a USB-C port and as usual there is a headphone port at the bottom. I have the gravity black color option but there are a number of other colors available out there. It has a sort of textured pattern at the back but you don't really feel it while holding the phone. The phone sits comfortably in my hand because of its flat design and round edges. There are two cameras at the back of the phone with a flashlight beside it. If you are familiar with the latest Techno and Infinix phone then this design isn't new. I have a feeling that Techno and Infinix are giving their phones a general identity so that we can easily identify them when we see them. The sim card slot is by the left and the phone supports two 4G sim card and there is a memory card slot in case you want to increase the storage space on the device. In terms of build quality, I will say the phone is sturdy and there is no creaking on any part of the device. What about the display? Well, we have a 6.6 inch IPS LCD display with a 90Hz refresh rate and 720p resolution. There is an option in the display settings to keep the refresh rate at 60 or 90Hz refresh rate and and you can also select auto refresh to switch between the two refresh rates. Personally, I set mine to 90Hz but there are times when the screen goes down below 90Hz refresh rate depending on the activity you are doing on the display of the Techno Pop 8 Pro. There is also ultra touch in the display setting and you can turn it on to increase the speed while scrolling on the display. The bezels around the display tells you it's a budget phone but the most noticeable difference between the Techno Pop 7 Pro and the Techno Pop 8 is the hole punch we have on the Techno Pop 8. The the display is touch sensitive and the colors while streaming on YouTube is also pleasing. It's not the best display out there but for the price, I'm giving it a pass. You also get the dynamic port on the phone and you can turn it on in the settings. It informs you when there are certain notifications on the phone using some cool animations. The display is quite okay for the price and I feel there isn't much we can complain about. The Techno Pop 8 Pro is powered by the Unisoc T606 processor and in terms of performance, it's close to the MediaTek Helio G85. Personally, I would have preferred the Helio G85 to be used as the processor on the Pop 8 Pro but it is what it is. My model has 3 gigs RAM and using memory fusion you can expand it to 6 gigs RAM but I didn't notice any performance improvement even when I set it to 6 gigs RAM. In terms of performance, it's not the fastest and if you open up some apps like Google Chrome, you have to wait for some split seconds for the app to properly launch. I'm not expecting the phone to fly in terms of performance and I feel there is a certain target audience that will find this performance just okay. The Techno Pop 8 Pro is not made for people that demand so much from a phone. It's made for light users. I used it to play some minimal games and there were times when the lag was obvious, especially after prolonged gaming sessions. As long as you stick to calls, text and light social media scrolling, you're going to be fine with the device. If you want a dedicated gaming review of the Techno Pop 8 Pro, then drop a comment with the list of games that you want me to test on the phone and I'm going to give it a shot. I also want to point out quickly that during my test, I tried to push the phone to its limit but one thing that I didn't experience was overheating. The Techno Pop 8 Pro 
is running on Android 13 and HIOS 13 is the user interface. Surprisingly, there aren't many installed apps like we used to normally have with previous techno phone. You get some Google apps and a few other apps that can't be uninstalled. The interface is typical of every other techno phone out there and you can also do some level of customizations on the interface. I'm not sure if there's going to be a software update to Android 14, but after unboxing the phone, I had to do some quick security updates. Normally, phones like this from Techno don't get software updates. If you know where Techno is coming from in terms of software, then you are going to appreciate what is on the Techno Pop 8. The phone has a 30 megapixel main camera and there is a second lens which I don't really see the effects in terms of photography. There is an 8 megapixel selfie camera accompanied by a flashlight that you can use to snap selfie pictures in dark situations. Here are some pictures from the front and back cameras. This is a video with the front facing camera of the Techno Pop 8. The audio you are also hearing is coming out of the Techno Pop 8. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. It comes with a 5000mAh battery and it can last an entire day on a single charge. In fact, the battery life of the Techno Pop 8 Pro is one of its best features. The 10W fast charger it comes with charges the phone in about 2 hours which is slow by today's standards. You are better off charging the phone overnight when it's slow. With all that I've said in this video, is the Techno Pop 8 worth buying? Well, I'm going to say yes and no. I will say yes if you're someone that don't really do much on a phone and you don't really care about camera output. It will handle minimal stuff like a champ. It's a no when you are someone that demands so much from a phone because if you give it too much to handle, then you're going to be disappointed. The phone is made for a specific audience and they are going to appreciate how it performs. Don't forget to subscribe if you made it this far and you can also watch my ITEL S23 Plus review. Peace out.